Mr. Tyler, Miracle, and ex-baby mama, not ex, but ex-girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, and mother to his two children, Miss April, okay? Um, April, first of all, Miracle and Tyler, I personally feel, got Miss April in the chokehold because, and she definitely keeps her foot on a piece of their neck, especially when it comes to Miracle. And I just would like to know what is the real issue, but let's just, let me go ahead and share my screen. Cause she did have something to say it's real short so let us see what she had to say my former partner has parents who participate and done his does his financial part does that mean that he and his new partner get to take credit for what i'm doing here i've been so quiet about so many things and despite that I don't get the respect that I deserve for what I have been through and the work that I continue to do. I'm going to think about never do. what I'm going to say and where I'm going to say it, but we are not a blended family. We're not co-parents. She's not their stepmother. My kids aren't her kids. And the fact that my former partner mm -hmm. has parents who participate and done his, does his financial part, does that mean that he and his new partner get to take credit for what I'm doing here? Okay. So first of all, this go way back because Miracle, Tyler and Miracle probably been dating for like what? Two years now, I think. Maybe three mm, years before now. Because when did they had to film P-Valley during the pandemic? When did it come out? Oh, they probably started dating during the pandemic. When did I thought it came out? out in 2021. I thought it was in 2021. She got pregnant with maybe some point in 2021. Had a baby last year. Yeah, that's probably right. But, you know, since she's been in this relationship with him... <laughs> Um, I can't stand honest. <laughs> since she's been in this relationship with uh Tyler, she's been referring to his kids as hers, and Miss April does not like that. So, in this post, she's saying, uh, or at least Tyler is asking, Who's the prettiest girl in the world? and she says, My girl. So, this right here makes April kind of like go off. She snapped off on her last time because she got in a, a miracle, got in the comments, and somebody asked her how many kids she had, and I think she said she had three. Or two at the, I don't know if she was pregnant at the time. So she That's what she said. Two. She said three. She had three. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then Air, April snapped on her and she was like, you're not their mom, X, Y, and Z. And she just started going off on the girl. Okay. So they started going back and forth. I think Miracle could have responded to her when it came to this situation. No, this was old. But I think, okay, I think this might be the one where Miracle tells her like, she would never try to fill her shoes as a mom. And you should be glad that somebody wants to like come in and, you know, uh, embrace your children versus treating them like crap like some other you know women would possibly do but I mean I'm just confused because I don't really see I mean we'll never know all of the full details but I don't really see anything that Miracle is doing wrong necessarily you maybe know. it's just that they don't have the relationship the mom and April and I guess if April already told you not to refer to her kids like that then don't do it again if you want to have a better relationship where my memory is being refreshed because when you showed those the clips from Instagram uh -huh. from mm -hmm. what, last year at first I was like okay she tripping like I thought April was tripping but I remember April saying that she had only met the kids one time so one or once or twice, right? Yeah, you that's don't right. you don't know the kids to be claiming them as yours. You're not his wife. You're a future baby mama. You can't claim her kids as your kids yet. So I understood where April was coming from. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to this situation, I kind of was like, oh, I'm tired of hearing about this shit, girl. Get over it. But now that I see the video providing more context, it don't sound like the issue is that you know, April and Tyler don't get along. It sounds like he don't do for his kids the way that he should. So if you not doing for your own kids, how the fuck is your baby mama claiming 
my kids on the internet if y'all don't provide it's, it, I, it sounds to me like oh. she's having to do more and be the primary parent she probably not seeing him as much the way that she's wording it and she said his parents has to help on the financial side how and, you gonna find kids he ain't providing for and I think it's been out there that she was also his manager so she, I think she, she, I think helped she him. She helped him get on P Valley, and then he gets on P Valley and ends up leaving her for Miracle Watts. Um, so no, I think, I think they were broken up way before that. They were broken up for like so? a, a year or something. I thought before he even got with Miracle. Oh, uh, I think she one. Of, I think his baby was fresh. One of the babies wasn't even at all. I didn't think. Not unless they broke up right before she had the kid. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, people do that often. They do. I don't think they but were I'm together. A, they may not have been together. Know. They may have been together, <laughs> but it looked like somebody that you convinced to make all the little sacrifices for you as if you loved her. And then when you got on with her help, you left her destitute to go and live out your fantasy life with the big booty model, Miracle Watts. And now that's all on social media. And y'all are acting like we have this perfect family when at the end of the day, nigga, no, that is not what it is. These are my kids. Don't nobody help me with these kids. And y'all getting online trying to clout chase off mm -hmm. of, you know, make presenting it as if you doing right by my kids and I should just be so fucking lucky. It's like, bitch, you ain't babysitting no motherfuckers and you want me to be lucky because you online acting like you care about my kid? Mm. I'm trying to make shit cute. Ain't she cute? Basically, yeah. is what I heard. Mm. And I feel like that's more so a, a sign that Tyler ain't shit. I'm going to just keep it a buck. It feel like triangulation. It feel like you probably left shit real fucked up with April, which is why she is resentful. Like, I feel like that lady probably mad for a good reason. Like, I'm sorry, but it feel like she's probably mad for mm -hmm. a good reason. And it does feel like you're being performative with your relationship with Miracle, having a baby, and now trying to bring her kids along for the ride without actually providing the help to her. So I could understand her anger. The only thing for me is that when you decide to come to the internet with your with your aggravation, I'm gonna need for you to put it all out there on the fucking table. Don't come out here telling us that the nigga ain't shit, but then still holding stuff back. Until yes, you ready to lay it all out. Yeah, because mm -hmm. every time you do it, people going to be like, oh, she's just bitter. When really, you could literally be going through shit all the time with these people. So even if you could get over right. him leaving you, it's still some shit that's happening behind the scenes that we don't know about that you online responding to, but you're not telling us. So we're looking at you like, oh, she's just mad. When really, we know nine times out of ten, y'all be making them women mad. Y'all be doing shit that y'all know is wrong. And y'all just expect the women to shut up and get along with it. Because if not, she look bad. If she still, she looks bitter. If she's still mad about you mistreating her when you skipped on into your little fairy tale fucking TV show life with mm -hmm. Miracle Watts. Like, I'm telling you uh, that the presentation to everybody is probably what's bothering her the most. Mm. If he had left her in private, it probably wouldn't even be that big of a deal. But to then put on and be family man with her. After I helped you get where you are, <laughs> girl, I was surprised that lady ain't, ain't, ain't ran him over with her car. <laughs> Try, I would like to know the breakdown. And yeah, I agree. April, when you get a chance, just put it all out on the table. Put it on the floor, like Lotto say. Just go ahead and just put it all on the floor so we really know what's going on so we don't have to be sitting up here trying to connect the dot, the dot, the dot, the dot. So we can really know. Like, girl, if you're going to expose, expose. You know what I'm saying? What they gonna do to you? You feel me? But I know you try to keep it classy based as an agent. So we understand, you know. But I feel like them be them warning shots. Like I could blast y'all ass. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit this piece right here. Okay. So hopefully we find out more details about that. Um, anything else? I think that's it. All we right. probably will. They gonna argue again. Um, Janae, I hope, it's, or Janaea says, I think Tyler's ex feel, ex's feelings are valid, but her anger is misplaced. Be mad at him. Ooh, thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Nisi, you, you finna just go ahead. Say, say, where? She's like, nah, that ain't misplaced. No, because she is the one. Yeah, it's both of them. Every time this happens, she's hopping online, asserting herself as 
the bonus mom. You don't know the kids. And if the daddy ain't caring for the kids, don't claim my kids. I haven't seen her argue with Tyler online because it doesn't seem like Tyler is the one. The reason why she's not arguing with Tyler online is because Tyler know he ain't doing for them kids. Miracle is putting on and speaking on some shit she don't know about. Mm. So I think that's why she needs to continuously get checked. So that's just my point of view. I don't know. I agree. I agree because I was like, nah, bitch. You too involved at this point for us to be like, oh, it's totally misplaced. No, bitch, you 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 helping him create the narrative that he doing what he ain't really doing. Like, no, bitch. And plus, yo, I'm sorry, but I feel like it must be so fucking aggravating to know a nigga ain't shit and watch people online praising him and wanting to slurp up his nutsack. Good. Like, it's got to be so infuriating to know a nigga ain't shit and see all these people talking about how fine he is. Like, he ain't shit, bitch. He ain't shit. Like, I feel like that lady is, like, screaming that from the inside every time she got to handle everything with her kids by herself. Like, as she's <laughs> working extra hours. As she cleaning the house up, getting the kids ready for school, crying because their daddy ain't there. She want to go out at 2 o'clock in the morning with her friends, but she can't. Because mm, and then she get on baby Instagram. Daddy. And get on Instagram with a fucking Miracle Watts post scroll up. <laughs> bitch. I'd be mad too, bitch. Fuck. And then it also makes me wonder what were some of the things that he told her in that relationship? Especially when they ended up having those kids. Is that something that you... Because we talked ever. about that earlier. We talked about that <laughs> earlier. About how they may want the family and then once it comes, it's like... It's I lie. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I, was I was just playing. <laughs> just playing. Oops. Playing. Girl, Girl now playing. he pulled a Carly. <laughs> Oops, my bad. See you later. Um, it was an accident. <laughs> a flag on a plate. Oops. How do you mean it? <laughs> Time out. Like, it took Girl. It. Whoa. I mean, I think that's what happened with Scrappy. I think that's what happened with Safari. I think, like, a lot of men. I think society tells them they're supposed to be like the other parent and two parent nuclear households and they can't handle that shit. And they figure, you know, they get into these lives with women thinking that they can handle it. The kids come in, you're not getting as much attention and sex as you want anymore because the babies are more important and you're feeling away because you've been the center of this bitch's universe before the babies came. So now you acting out and low key you resentful, but you know, you can't really be because they're your kids. So you're going to cheat during her pregnancy and, and you know, while she's trying to heal her body and shit. I saw somebody in a comment said that he was cheating in April and they broke up in June. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm literally more inclined to believe that he was cheating cheating on her because otherwise like it, it probably she looked like the type of person that would have stayed behind the scenes if it was really like oh we was done but you you played in that lady face like to me that's the vibe the vibe playing. gives yes i remember people saying that mm -hmm. yes, this is messy yeah. but you ain't right. pulling a wool over my eyes because your old lady got a big booty and you look like a version of drake you ain't pulling enough wool over my eyes <laughs> all right